What's going on, buddy? Soliaka here, and this video comes from Naisu Cinema, and uh, he it's I believe it's out of Georgia. He's out open carrying, and he gets approached by a lot of officers. So let's hop into this video real quick, and we'll talk about it at the end. Don't forget, go and subscribe to his channel. Links are in the description, and let him know the armed fisherman sent you. And I'm out. Soliaka, deuces. I'm just gonna put it on my sling. Okay, put your hands up. Okay. Take off the mask. Can I leave this on? Take off the mask. I have this on for a medical reason. Can you take it off? For the pollen. Alright, keep your hands up, alright? I have hay fever. I really don't want to take the mask off. really to protect me from the pollen i would really appreciate it if you guys didn't i got you me. hey we met you before right you yeah. live over in metro yeah uh, 3319 it's the same person you get, don't have your sidearm on you today i do you do where's it at it's on my right side on my hip. it's on your right side okay yeah. this is airsoft no this this is an actual ar yep all right you mind if i take it off you just for a second what we take no, no, no. Put on my, I, I'd on really appreciate it if you did it. I can unload it if, if that would make you feel more comfortable. But I'd, I'd rather your hands not go on it at all right now, okay? okay. Alright, let's go ahead and take the mag out. I'm gonna take it out of the magazine, sure. okay? Sure, yeah. There's one in the chamber, too. There's one in the chamber, too? Yeah. Alright. You can just you know, sure you're alright if I unbuckle this? I'm just gonna put it on the hood. Let me think about that for a second. How about, uh. Fuck no. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. Because okay. you guys' car's gonna fall on it, your guy's gonna fall on it, I'd really rather not have it for free. Okay. So he's wearing it because of the fallen. Yeah. Hey man, so, so here's the deal, man. You're kind of freaking people out, you're carrying loaded weapons around, alright? Uh -huh. You're not necessarily doing anything inherently illegal, right? right? But I'm a little worried about you because you have people out here that are. are it's, it's not normal behavior, right? Right. I understand what you're doing. We had this conversation last time. Uh huh. There's other ways to do it, right? Pardon me, Mr. Perfect! I guess I forgot that you never ever make a mistake! So, right. would it be alright if I get you right back to your house and that way... Promise to not be taking rides from strangers. We can put all this... Well, that would kind of ruin my two mile walk here. I'd prefer if you guys let me walk back home. Well, the thing is, man, like, because you're causing a public disturbance, we can't mm -hmm. actually let you continue. Are you crazy? Jesus. Or just plain stupid? See, that's the issue, right? Is that what I'm doing is perfectly legal, and me walking home with my no, it is, it is legal. That, that's not. It's not that's illegal. Not, the problem is, like I said, you're disturbing the peace, which is not, except for which is not. a I'm thing. Just you know what I'm saying? Down the street with my rifle. Yeah, you got to be able to handle this, brother. I'm not really disturbing the peace. Walking down the street with my rifle. You that's, that's are when that like everybody calls 911. That's a disturbance of the peace. Right, and as a yeah, I'll put your magazine phone, right here, man. I feel like you guys should be able to say, you know, he's not doing anything wrong. I mean, I understand you guys coming to check it out. But you, you can't tell me not to exercise that right to be able to. Exactly. We're not telling you that. Right. Well, you kind of are, right? No. You By never telling said me that. that I'm disturbing the peace and that you have to. I'll tell you me. what, brother. If you're gonna keep arguing with me, I'm that's not... that just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. Fine. Our sergeant's on the way. Sure. He can come explain it to you as well. Sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah, no problem. So if you'd like to wait for him to come and explain to you, we can do that too. But in the in the meantime, we do just kind of need to get the weapons off of you, well, set them on that, the vehicle, okay? I don't consent to any seizures of my firearms. We're not seizing anything. Yeah, that would be seizing it for you no, to take it from me. Seizing it. would be taking it from you permanently. You taking it from me at all is seizing. Okay, it's up to you. I, I know. It's making it worse, though. How am I making things worse oh, by gosh. exercising my rights? <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! 
This could have been a very calm, nice conversation. Before I brought you on ETA. Hey man, I met you before, remember? Right, yeah. Right, and so I was perfectly compliant with you guys. I didn't cause anybody any trouble. But I also oh, don't oh, consent to being unarmed here on the side of the road. We're just along the side of I-25 North. Pause. You gotta talk to us, brother. You gotta speak way up. We can't hear you. I, I was talking to Siri. I was telling her to pause the music. Okay. justification for cutting my salary like that to join any kind of organization. I'd rather just practice the night on my own. Because, um, you know, it, it, it's my belief that there's no point in having gear if you're not trained to use it. You know, you get to a fight and you're gassed and you're useless, so I'm out here training for that purpose. I got you. It makes sense. So, we need to find a way that you can exercise your freedoms and we don't have 30 people calling in, though, right? So, I... You need to find a way to work with us and try to try to make this happen now, right? The issue is I think this is good to educate the public on their rights and that not every guy with a gun is a bad guy with a gun. Hey, can I take that off for you so we can have a talk? No, 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 no. I strongly appreciate it if you didn't. I have it on for following reasons. I have hay fever, so the following really speaks okay. to me. So um, we've gotten multiple calls yeah. about you out here. That's your, uh -huh. that's your right as a citizen to walk around. You don't even have it loaded. No, it's it was loaded. Okay. okay. It was loaded, okay. yeah. So, you understand that causes like a perfect public disturbance, right? I, I don't see myself disturbing the peace. I, I know you don't see yourself disturbing the peace, but yeah. everybody else, you're in full body gear, got a gas mask on. Uh -huh. Probably to some people, that probably looks like it might turn into an active shooter, correct? See, in three months, the gas mask won't be an issue. Um, but while the pollen's out here, I have to wear the gas mask. It's There's no issue with that, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying um, to help you see from citizens and right. the and, and I, it's what it looks like. I don't want you to think I don't understand what you're saying because Every time someone sees a guy with a rifle on the news, he's shooting people. But if you see more people out and about with rifles that are not shooting people, people will so start to understand that they are gun owners out there that are killers. Uh, I'm doing a, a two-mile walk actually around my residence, and I'm going back home. Okay. I'm doing this purely it's for exercise. Down to... You got his gun off of him? No, he won't let us take him. Where's your handgun at? It's don't point. Just raise your hand. Huh? Right okay. You don't reach for yours, I won't reach for mine. Right. Perfect. All right. So... You cause a public disturbance, but it's your right to walk around with an AR-15 and a gun. You just alarm people. We got probably, I would say, 10 calls in a six minute time span. Okay. I've been out here for so, probably about 30 minutes. So, okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to let you go. Uh -huh. You're going about your business. Uh -huh. Okay? But if we keep getting calls, I have to we do have something to about it. Back. I have right. to keep coming back. I understand you guys come and check It'll it out. Like every 10 feet, so now, you it. don't have to give your name or anything like that if you don't want to. Are you willing to give your name? So that way when the next call comes out, I can say, hey, that's such and such. He's exercising his Second Amendment freedom, uh -huh. and he's not harming anybody. Uh -huh. He didn't point his gun at anybody. Uh -huh. He's just training. So do you have access to that report from the last time I met you guys? Would you I be don't. able to get my name from that? Or I, I mean, you don't have to give your name if you don't want to. I'm okay with it. I'm just saying I'd rather probably if so. you could get it that way. Probably so. I probably. It, what do you know if a report or a there, there was a report written last time. I gave my idea last time. Okay. Yeah, I could probably look it up that way and see okay. what happened. So yeah, I prefer it that way. Just so I don't have to say it out loud on all the cameras and everything. Just, just well, the police here, man. They know well, I, I, I know, but well, this stuff. But I can't. Times, how am I going to look up the report if, if I don't have you? I, if, how am I going to look up the report if I don't have your name? Okay. Would you be able to look up the first name? I'm going to have to do that. Just first and last name is all I need.
para First Night Form. Okay, give me a sec. So, basically just keep your hands exactly there, of course, okay? Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, up there is good too. Right. That's the best, that's how we like it. <laughs> so, you know what's up. I know, I know you, you're coming at your angle from, hey, you want to educate the public, right? And let them know, hey, like, it's not nothing to really be alarmed about, right? And right, I get where you're coming from, so let, let's have a conversation. Let's try to figure out what's a good way to move forward that we can try to educate without... Because right now, yeah, I know it's ignorance, right? If people are calling in, they don't know what's going on, and they're they're panicked, they're, you know, so they want to let us know, right? And you understand that this is not an everyday thing. You don't have, you're, you're in Metro Atlanta. You, how many thousands of people do you think are around us right now, and none of them are doing it, right? So whenever people see this, they get a little paranoid, right? And, you know, I wish, honestly, I wish more people were doing this, because of all the gun owners in America, not even 1% of them are active shooters. Just, you don't see their gun, you yeah. know? So you think every time you see a guy with a gun, he might be a shooter. Sure. That's, that's, that really shouldn't be the notion we take. So so what do you think is a good plan forward? Because you're not going to be able to change everyone's mind overnight. So what's right. a good way forward? It, to, you can come out here and do your thing, and that we don't have to worry about scaring people visiting or whatever. Do you have, do you have any ideas for us? We can leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Honestly, we I, want to work together with you here. Honestly, I'm, I'm not really sure if there is a way to avoid people just not knowing. You know, we have new people coming through here today, so it's, gonna, it's not going to be a thing where people get used to seeing me. I will tell you, keeping mm -hmm. your rifle unloaded would help a lot. You yeah, can keep yeah, the weight on you. The weight's fine. It just kind of defeats the purpose of having the rifle if, it, if it's not loaded. You know, if I'm not handling it while it's loaded, I get used to handling it without a mag in the way. Man, the mag's probably the biggest dude, thing. Dude, I'm I'm former military, man. I, I know all about it. I've been right. through selection and everything. So, so you should know more than anybody then. That's right. And we used to carry here, you know? we used to carry red rifles. We did the exact same. You ever seen those? I I think I have. The ones like they're, they're like I don't know what they're made of, but they are not actually leather. They're, they're not even. That's right. right. I remember going through basic training, like we before we even had the weapons, they make us carry uh, rock bars, right? Like big crowbars uh -huh. they use for moving rocks, right? Because you got the weight, you can carry at a high port and run around. It's actually heavier, right? So that way your muscles strain up even more. Right, and so... And they're maybe, brightly colored, so that way so the public sees you. So this back in September? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so same thing. We got a bunch of calls. And they actually took the rifle and your handgun off you and everything. Yeah, they did. And, and released you. I didn't you. appreciate it, but it was my first time out here, so I just I just let them do their thing. Okay. You know, make sure they knew who I was. Well, man, um, we're probably going to get several more calls. But this time, I know your name. I know what you're doing. Okay. So that way, we don't have to keep responding. Okay. But if I keep getting calls after calls after calls, uh -huh. I'm just going to come back out and be like, hey, man, more people are calling on uh -huh. you. You know, but you're free to walk around with your rifle and your handgun. So I'm going to have him give you back your... It's right, it's right here. Okay, so man, once we pull off, you're free sure. to load it back up. Sure. Okay. Um, best of luck to you in the military, uh, or whatever you're trying to train for. But you know, it just causes alarm. All black, gas mask on, right, rifle. You get yeah. it? Yeah. By summer, you guys won't see the gas mask anymore. But I'd really rather not deal with anything. Okay. And I highly advise you invest in that training stuff. They're like bright red or blue. They weigh the exact same. They so, even function. So at that point, I'd rather, and I think it'd be more effective, to train with something that has some munition rounds rather than something that doesn't even have a trigger. So they, on they it. make the brightly yeah. colored ones. They're gonna have some munition, like they're like right. airsoft, even like the stuff above airsoft. Right. If you got something that's brightly colored. So, yeah. That would alleviate this, because they'd call so, us and be like, "Hey, this guy walking around, be like, what color is the rifle?" They're like, "Yellow." Right. We're like, "Oh yeah, that's what I say. It's cool. So, we wouldn't so, even come out." The only problem I have with that at that point is this: this gun, everything on it, is pretty expensive. Um, and for anybody who can't normally get access to a rifle, they probably want to take mine from it. And at that point, I'm not shooting yeah, seven missions. Yeah. You know? I got you, man. Uh, like Sarge said, I mean, we, we can't detain you. We're not going to detain you. You are free to go. Yeah. Uh, we're just trying to give you some options that like, help that's alleviate this in the future. One of the things that's not about, because I know you know what you're doing. You, it seems like you've looked all this up. There's a lot of people out there that don't know what they're doing, right? right. You have a lot of gun owners that don't know what the hell they're doing, that's right? Really and I don't want them to come, you know, Toward you and, and you, you we don't want to get fired on you. Know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And so it's it's not about the public, right? It's also protecting you. And I do understand that's a possibility, which is why instead of this soft vest, I actually do have a plate carrier and plate for so that I can have that actual you know, right. utility on. Well, all right. Well, bust a look, man. Appreciate you guys. All right. Well, like, once we pull off, man, you're free to load your rifle back up. Sure.
Just let us take off, right? Sure, yeah. You know, um, I'm going. Can you do it like in an inconspicuous manner so nobody's like, oh my god, he's out here loading his rifle? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I'll try to make it not like, I won't be like on the side of the road. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you have a good one. To say the least, this interaction is kind of weird. Um, I'm glad it all worked out. You know, I just, I, it's so hard for me to grasp that even though he's allowed to do it and they recognize that he's allowed to do it and they say, oh, you're disturbing the peace. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. I get people are scared of guns. But in an open carry state, the, at least 911 operators be like, yeah, is he pointing at anybody? Is he shooting anybody? Is there, what's he doing with said firearm? Is he, he's just walking. Oh, he's just walking around? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you know, patrol, friggin', there is a guy out there. Just make sure he's not doing anything illegal. And if he's not, drive up and keep on pushing. That's what happened to me. I mean, that's what happens now. In the past, it wasn't like that, but now, for the most part, even if I'm open carrying, they drive up, and they'll they'll be looking, they're like, eh, it's probably him, and then they, they drive off. That's how it should be. Sure, you want to, you know, see what's going on, but just leave me alone. Just let me go about my day, just like they should have just let with him, let him go about his day. Everything would Everything was still fine, but he had to go through this, that, and the third to get there, so... That's how I feel about it. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to go over to his channel and subscribe and let him know that the Arm Fisherman sent you. And I'm out. Deuces.